the World Federal Racing season number six is set to get underway here at the Daytona International Speedway in beautiful Daytona Beach, Florida. Welcome everybody to NASCAR Field Nationwide Series, NBC Sports NASCAR's coverage of the Camping World. Dot com 300 here from the World Center Racing. I am Jenny Fenton, the voice of the Nationwide Series. Joining me alongside is Hall of Fame, play by play and author of the Truck Series, Joshua Michael. Josh, it's good to be back. Opening yet another season. Yep, hopefully this is going to be a great season. It's going to be one great season, Josh. And I'm telling you what, if anything like the shootout was, I'm ready for this season opener. Me too, Mom. That was, that was crazy. And, um, really crazy. Alright, Josh, let's get to our notes before the race. Um, judging by what we saw in the shootout with an early wreck, are we gonna see that again with, again with the sunshine? Yeah, we probably will. It'll probably take about three to six months. So, um, maybe the new get a caution back here, if not, then they're extremely lucky. Yeah, you're lucky if you make it. 10 laps without a caution here. Um, the pavement in the sunshine has been baking all day in the Daytona sun. It's going to uh, undergo a lot of changes once the rubber gets put down. Indeed. Indeed. Alright, these guys are just fin finishing up their last few minutes of happy hour. Josh, are you ready? I am. Alright folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We're going to come back here to Daytona for the starting lineup here at the World Center Racing. You're watching DASCAR, uh, NBC Sports, DASCAR, coverage of Nationwide Racing here at Daytona. Hello and welcome back to Daytona International Speedway where we're just getting ready for the grid here at Daytona for the CampingWorld.com 300 here at Daytona. This start season number six of the DASCAR Field Nationwide Series. Josh, final box. All right, Josh. Any final thoughts? Oh, um, let's look dead. We have a great day today. I think so. All right, it's uh, time for our picks. Uh, presented by Nationwide. Nationwide's on your side. Josh, who's pick? I'm gonna go with. I'm um, looking at this main line up here. Um, I'm gonna go with um Nick Pericles of 14. All right, I want to go out on a limb here and pick car number 18, Nick Duncan. He is starting way in the back in 39th position. Well, it don't matter where you finish. Uh, it don't matter where you start on a super speedway. It matters where you finish. All right, let's get our starting lineup started. Row number one, we got Jed Timms and Jackie Tang. Row number two is Ray Tykeba and Nana Fitzwater. Next, we got Kenny Bale and Kanye Gill. Then we got Nick, Nick Kirkley's and Luka Takeda. Ninth is Kate Skirvin. Tenth is Brenda Faraclees. Eleventh is Peachy Lennon. Fourth is Sidney Crawford. Thirteenth is Kyle Thomas. Fourteenth is Dastar President Robert Piet. Fifteenth is RJ Bishop. And sixteenth is Tom Paul. 17th is your, de is your defending Nationwide Shields champion, Sona Force, and Luke Walker. There we got Sarah Fistwater and Annie Thomas. 21st, we got Gabe Williams and Brandon Costa. There we got Sager Robinson and May Hall. 25th, we got Stacy Little Anderson, Anderson the 4th, and Jordan Cole. There we got Larry Higgin and Katie Elizabeth. 29th, we got Chantel Martinez, and 30th, we got Isaac Sinclair. 31st is Daniel Bowles and 32nd is Andrew Wood Robinson. Rounding out the field, Chris Dunn, Chase Smith, Chris Washer, Courtney Rose, Tristina Montello, Diana Vasquez, Nick Duncan, Cody Hagen, and Cassandra Renzi. Josh, it's finally time to get season six started. Yep, it is. I'm excited for this glory season here on NBC Sports Tasco. Alright, the field getting into just now getting into turn number four butterflies in the cars as we get set to go as the field gets off the banking off of quarter number four josh the mic is yours all righty 
The pace car roll, head down, down the Phillips DS M pit road. And now, coming to try oval, green flag is in the air. What a Kevin World dog on 300. Live. Jed Chins leads them down towards turn number one, and we are off and rolling. Yes, we are. And also, this track has been repainted a lot. A lot. This track has been DASCAR-fied. Uh, I'm not really sure if that's a real word, but it's been DASCAR-fied big time. Yep, and you will see one right here, the party pad. The Heineken party pad, really nice at, uh, installment here to the track. And as they come into corner number four, look at the log jam as they come off four. Yep. Well, is it like really, really um a bit mixed or or anything? Well, your friends are going to find them right now for these first few laps, and then all bets are off when you come down to the finish of this race, because this is Daytona. Anyone, and I mean anyone, will try to win this. Yep. Yep. Even Ding Dungeon will try to win this. Let's see if he can. He's my pick for today's race. Three wide, just about eight rows deep going on back there. Jed Tins continues to lead. We got uh, 14 of Nick Perkins on the outside. Gonna get hung up three abreast. Here comes the iconic number three, Ooh. RJ Bishop, the shootout winner. Yeah, RJ Bishop, um, this is his rookie year, and he's, oh, he's touched that red level line a little bit. Yeah, it's okay, if you, as long as you don't go below it. Uh, new rules here for the, for the Nationwide Series, do not go below that yellow line. If you go below the, that yellow line, expect to be penalized. I if there was a warning first. Oh yeah, it's a warning. I forgot. Yes, he said that in his other video. <laughs> that was how long ago? And it came out. About like a week. Probably. Let's check on car number 18, Nick Duggan here. Uh, there he is on the inside line in 34th. Gonna make up some ground on the inside line. There's that Nitro Circus car, Dash car president, Robert Piet in the 99. Yeah, our Piet is doing a great job here as the 70 of Santa Cruz is coming to the lead soon, I think. Yeah, Zach he, she is in. Zachary Robinson, your season one Daytona champion here. Gonna go on the attack in car 48. Let's take the onboard with him. Yeah, from onboard with him. He's the giant. Look, trying to go down low, but no, there he yeah, is. Yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna do it now. Yeah, he's gonna do it now. Lap 4 of 60, will be lap 5 of 60 next time by. I'm so surprised we haven't wrecked yet. Don't jinx us, John Trouble! You jinxed us! And I did, I saw him going loose. Yellow is out, first of the day, and Daniel Boyles gets the worst of it. Oh. Sorry, Daniel. Josh, you jinxed us. I, I, I'm sorry, I wouldn't know what happened again. Well, Josh jinxed us. Daniel Boyles gets the worst of that accident. There's Spinner in turn four. First caution of the day, Larry Hodgin is not the leader. It'll be Zachary Robinson. So, they'll sort that mess out, and we'll get a replay. All right, Josh, this is where you jinxed Daniel Boyles. You see that bumper hook? We talked about it. That bumper hook can turn cars around easily, and that's just what happened. Yeah, just double hook right there, and just said for Daniel Boyles got the worst of this. And actually, Daniel Boyles really came really, really a span, spun out. Not really a lot of damage to that number 15 four. No, but you saw the reaction time to those roof flaps, Josh. That's the new um, installed roof flaps that we have on these cars that uh, the Dascar R&D Center uh, installed on these cars. So a much uh, faster reaction time to these uh, safety enhancements. Yeah. Let's take a look. Once the car gets about 90 degrees to the wind, you're going to see them start to 
um, fly open here, and you see right there, once it gets 90 degrees, y'all, there they go. Yeah, there oh they go. God. As soon as um, the back, back bumper um, looks towards the track, a hard track, and the reflex goes up. Yeah, so that's a big time safety improvement. And Daniel Boros, no damage. Uh, my, my most likely five spot the tire. We'll get you to the restart when we come back here to the Daytona. Welcome back to Daytona. We're just about ready to go back green. We had pit stops. So it'll be Stoner Corners with the lead. Second, Gabe Williams. Third, Kyle Thomas. Uh, fourth, Ray Takata. Sixth, Larry Hodgen. Sixth is Zachary Robinson. Seventh is Jed Timms. Eighth is Zachary Fitzwater. Ninth is Pichu London. And tenth is Chase Smith. We have some cars off the track, Josh, uh, oddly enough. Um, the 87, the 23, the 5, and the 50 are out. Hmm. That is really weird. Not sure Maybe? what. Oh! Maybe there's an maybe there's an accident on pit road. Case going on pit road for some reason. Guess do you think? Kanye Gill coming I... off. There's the 87. Okay, so we're gonna take the green flag here at Daytona. Lap nine of 60 are complete. Sargars is out in front. Yep, you're watching the camera world on presented by hashtag Daskar. And as they come to the trioval now, that pace car will look towards pit road. Lap nine of sixty is when we're gonna take the restart. And we have your DSM restart here at Daytona. Yeah, DSM restart. DSM is sponsoring the pit road right there. <laughs> So, Stoner Corners leads them down towards turn number one, and they are shuffling already in the back. Yep, they are shuffling already in the back. Don't know what's... Maybe because lap traffic got mixed up? I don't know. I think so. A uh, couple cars... Now they're all up the pace, so I think somebody just missed the restart. Yeah, someone just missed the restart. Um, but, uh, by the way, I just wait for your model laps. Oh, Gabe Williams! Yep, Gabe Williams will look down for the lead. Gabe Williams, car 88. He's gonna go towards the front. And crucial bonus point here at Daytona for all these drivers. Oh, yep. trouble! Oh. Trouble! We got one car peeling off. Uh, do I see smoke? No, nah, I don't see smoke. Scrubber's still on pit road. Cody Hodgin! Cody Hagen, um, do not know why to the Cody Hagen's car. Hey, Scarvin's still on the pit road. She is three laps down. Yep, as uh, we are, we're, as we got two separate packs here. So it might be strategizing something as that second pack over there, because they they might be uh, just trying to wait and see if these guys uh. If, if, if this group wrecks over here, because look how close they're running together. Yeah, they're really running really close. I don't know what's going to happen with this group. I don't know, but we got a third group now here working together. That's these three cars over here. Nick Pericles, uh, Jackie Tang, and Cassandra Renzi. Three cars working together to try and hunt down this lead pack as Chase Smith goes to the lead in car 11. Yeah, you can see Chris Dunn is right there as Cody Higgins gets off pit road. Yeah, so might have might have a tire problem. 20, 23 car, four laps down. Dunn, I don't know what's wrong with the K Servants car. I'm not sure, but look at this! We got a two car breakaway! What? Didn't see, didn't expect that to happen. No, I didn't. I didn't expect it to happen at all. As they come into the trial, oh, look out! Whoa. Give a call to the 11. Manny Thomas is going to take the lead. Here comes RJ Vincent, your shootout winner. Yep. Oh, trouble in the back. Big crash. Oh, next seven of Justina Montello has spun it. There's a caution out. Caution is out. 
So just a solo spin on the uh, coming up of four. Yeah, just a solo spin. So um, whoa, it's been close. So I'll bang the two and get this caution. I think so, unless that six can pull out right now. Uh, not gonna pull out. So Andy Thomas will get the caution here at Daytona. Nick Duncan moves to third. And we got our second caution here at Daytona. A solo spin in turn four. Let's get a replay. Alright, Josh, take a look at this. There was just a stack up effect that caused this. You see one car peeling off to go to pit road. And Justina Montello is just gonna get the worst of this one. He gonna I think he's gonna get turned here by No, somebody cut down in front of him. Whoa. Wow, wow and he Oh wow, he didn't he did not let off. Wow. Wow. I don't think NASCAR will, will qualify that as a penalty. Maybe just a racing incident. Let's take a look at it from the from the helicopter here to see what actually happened here. They're gonna go. Uh, they're gonna cross the start finish line, and that's where the contact was made. And um, man, it was just a racing incident. He had nowhere to go. Uh, you you really can't go below that yellow line. Yeah, you can. Um. <laughs> You mind and the thing we're supposed to try to force him down below the other line of thing. I don't know. I don't think that's car will qualify that as a penalty, maybe just a racing incident because you cannot pass that yellow line. That is a new rule here in NASCAR. You cannot go below that yellow line. Um but it's only a warning, not a penalty. Okay, so maybe a warning to um Well He didn't go below the yellow line, it was just a solo spin and a racing incident, so no penalty. We're going to get you to the restart when we come back here to Daytona. Welcome back to Daytona. Coverage of the CampingWorld.com 300 here from Daytona International Speedway. Annie Thomas is the leader. Five of Kanye Gill lap down. Second is Nick Duncan. Cody Hagen a lap down. Chase Smith. Andrew Robinson a lap down. Chris Dunn. RJ Bishop. Jed Timms. Stacey Little Anderson the fourth. Zachary Robinson. P2 London. And Cassandra Renzi in tenth. So we got three last cars here that are, might play a factor in the race. Case Gervin still on pit road, nine laps down. I don't know what's going on with that 23 car. I'm not sure. She may have a tire problem or something, but we're going to take the green flag and look who's in second. Wow. Nick Dunk. He has fought his way all the way from the back of the pack to second in just about 16 laps. He means business. He does. Let's see if he can get it done here at Daytona. Still a lot of racing to go, though, as they come out of turn number four. That pace car will look towards pit road, and it will peel off right about now. Here we go. We're going to get ready to go. Once again, we got your DSM restart here at Daytona. Green flag is out. Rain flag is out here at Daytona. Oh, a lot of people are going down to that low line. That's where those lap cars are. You don't want to get caught behind them. Yep, looks this. Well, I thought I saw four wide for just a second. I thought I saw four wide too, so. Uh, Kanye Gill has put himself in front of second place. Uh, now the field really is starting to bunch up. Yes. Whoa. Yeah, there's like, you don't know what's going to happen, really. I don't want to see a wreck this early in the race. I don't want to see the big one um, at all. But it's a product of Super Speedway Racing here at Daytona and at Talladega. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And man! Well, we got one to look at that four wide right there. Four that's wide not... to the trial. Oh, that could be trouble. Nope, they saved nope. it, they, but they, they settled it out. Man, I don't know how they did that. And... Man, this field really bunched up. Indeed. They're really close together. Oh man, if they don't wreck it uh, here, that'll be... Good car control. Stacy Little Anderson the third has help from, the, from car 14, Nick Pericles on the inside line gonna propel the second and little Anderson is gonna look for the lead as they come off four 
Not yet. There she goes. There, there we go. From sex to from six to seconds. Yep. Now to the sucker hole. Yep. You gotta hit getting in that sucker hole. Sucker exactly. Where you don't want to be. Exactly, and a pretty big wad of cars here, differentiating from the single file stint going on in the back. Uh, Robert Piet. Oh wow, what happened to him? I don't know, Robert Piet. He just, I think he lost some. I think got loose somewhere, and now he's in the back of the back. Back in the pack is car 99. They come up for number four. They're still three wide. Yep, they are. Wow, if they can manage this for just about 30 more laps, that'll this will be the greatest finish ever. Probably. probably. <laughs> 12 car, gonna go back to the front. That's Tom Hall in the 12. Yeah, Tom Hall, one of the newcomers here to the race series. Here comes car 33. I think uh, that's the, the, the Denise Steinhardt. No, that's Kenny Vale. Remember, Josh, we saw yep. him in Season 2. He dominated Season 2, but didn't win the championship. He's back to try to win again. Yeah, if he's back to try to win again, will he do it next this year? I hope he can, because that was a real upset for him when he didn't clinch it in Season 2. Now, can he lead a lap? He can by half a car length. But here comes car 22 on the inside line. Yeah, there's Mayhall. Part of almost May Hall and a three wide swarm of cars. Yeah, three by three by three by three. All the way to the end, back in the pack. Here comes Katie Elizabeth in car number 40. And way on the inside is 27 Nick. Diana Vasquez. And right there's Nick Duncan. Now, can he lead a lap here and get those five bonus points? Uh, he is winless so far when he came when, in, in his return to the series. Remember, he got a, he got a few wins, made the chase in season two, but did not win the championship. Yep. Oh, Courtney Rose! Whoa! whoa just on, about third, just about third. Oh man, they're making pretty aggressive contact. Whoa. We almost saw the bubble hook twice! That could run into one of them, gonna lose a bunch of spots back there! Yeah, that was just... That was close, that was too close! Too close to the convert. Exactly. But that bumper hook is really, really dangerous to do! And I thought I saw four wide, but they managed to keep it together here. Wow. Yeah. There's the 70th Sona Course, your defending series champion. Here comes Justina Montello in car 97. Yep, Justina Montello. He was Wait a minute. One. Were you involved in a crash? Yeah, he was. Look at him now! He's all the way up here in the top ten. Wow, so give a call to Montello here. Gonna go all the way to inside the top five they come off for. Yep. And look, this is one big main packet to see spread out for the field. Behind them are just one or two or three lap car tandems. This is some fantastic racing here, Josh. I mean, I haven't seen this pack racing with this gen since season two. Yep, these are the same cars as in season two, I believe. Yeah, they are, but a lot safer. Remember, Josh, the gen we had last season was really, uh, was kind of bulky, but it didn't have the safe dimensions that these cars have now. And remember, it was that gen that took Jackie Salas' life. Indeed, that was a very, very sad moment in Dasker history. It was, as they go into the trial now. Uh, just past the start finish line to complete 
Lap number 25, or lap 24, start lap number 25. Uh, some organized racing so far, we have yet to see the big one. Yeah, we have yet to see the huge big one here. Let's hope we don't fix them. Or the huge one at Daytona. Look at this pack already. Oh, the bumper hook. Be careful of that. Don't want to turn them. Oh. This is just cringeworthy here. Oh, man. If they hold this throughout this race and finish like this, we are going to have a three-wide photo finish. No doubt about it. Yeah, we will. They go on the turn number one. Cassandra Renzi leads it. That's five crucial bonus points for that car. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Thing is, a four wide back there. Oh, we had four wide there, just uh, just a little bit over there, but they managed to keep it together. Um, but Renzi has really separated herself. To second place. Yeah. So go on, give me. Oh, four oh, wide. Whoa. They keep it together. Ramsey still out in front here at Daytona in the CampingWorld.com 300. Yeah. CampingWorld.com 300 presented by hashtag NASCAR. Yeah. And don't forget, folks. Like. The like uh, Dascar on Facebook, facebook.com slash Phillips Cup, Phillips Cup Series. Um, uh, their link will be in the in the in the description. Yeah. So Sonny Montello is all the way to second now, passing Chase Smith in the eleven. And give a call to Montello, Josh. Oh, now he's going to kick back up to the outside. So, I thought Montello would have a run for the lead here, but going to get shuffled. Here comes Katie Elizabeth in the 40. And she's going to get caught in the sucker hole. Here comes the total Tom Hall. Yeah, Tom Hall. Um, relatively unknown to the Death Star Series. Yeah, Tom Hall really new. Uh, haven't seen him at all in the Nationwide Series. Now he's coming up here. With uh, May Hall, I don't know if they're sister or brother or not. I don't know, but they're uh, making a okay. They are, but they're making they're, they're making a pretty good name of, of themselves here in, in the Nationwide Series, getting points, leading laps here at Daytona. Really sparking some really good racing here. Yes, they are. Huh? It was almost an no, honest free by free by free back there. Renzi Stooley. Yeah, Renzi has a strong car here. We're just about halfway here. At Daytona. One, two laps. And 23 still on pit road. 13 laps, plus laps down. Man, tw let's see, 22 laps down, about to be 23. I thought we had a challenge for the lead, but Ramsey lost. May Hall is right there. And coming by for halfway here at Daytona. There are the halfway class. We're halfway home. Yeah, halfway home here. We had two cautions so far. And yeah, two cautions so far. One lap four and one lap six, I believe. And um, that was that's here, mid race break. Cassandra Randy still out in front here. Man, uh, is anyone gonna make a move on her? I do not know. Let's see if someone can. Let's see if these guys can get a draft and possibly try to run her down. May Hall doing just that. Got hooked up there with car 38. That of uh, Cody Hagen. Now they're gonna get kicked up. No, nope, they're gonna try to run her down. Yep. Now let's see if... Oh! I was just about to say that. I was going to say, let's see if Hagen can pull out. Indeed, he does. Yep. So, the 38 of Cody Hagen now goes to second. 
Uh, now May Hall back to second. Hey, May Hall is going back to second now. As uh, there's a 24 Diana Vasquez back right there. Yeah, Diana Vasquez just uh, really wants to make a name for herself too. Whoa, May Hall! Whoa. Almost got in the Jordan Cup and that. Oh, we got a caution. We got a caution now. Oh, oh, oh no, a big wreck. Balls. Hernanda Fitzwater and Jet Tim's pole sitter. Whoa. Sparks flying. He might have a huge one, I think. I think. I don't know. It looks to be just one or two cars involved. Caution is out, by the way. Cassandra Randy gets it. We can break finally. So, with that being that, we got our, what I believe is our third caution here at Daytona. Let's get a replay. Alright, Josh, take a look. It's going to be the 51 of her Netta Fitzwater, who's going to get turned. And I told you, that bumper hook, it can bite you. That's just what we saw, and we saw a hard-looking crash. Yeah, oh, we man. did. And the 51 gets turned, and look out! Oh! Ooh! Oh. Then head on, then watch the 54. Ooh. Oh, wow. Thank God for that safer barrier. Indeed. Well, that sounds as bad as it looks. Let's take the uh, on board first here with Jed Tant in the 54. He avoided our wreck by drifting it in the trial at the shootout, but not this time. Let's take the on board. Just listen. Oh. Oh. oh, that stings. Yeah. Take the onboard Ben to Pericles here. She she got most of the damage. Yes, she did. Wait about here. Oh. oh my goodness gracious. Indeed, you can say that again. Oof. So that's our third caution of the day. Uh, for now, that'll be our big one. Just three cars. We'll get you back to the restart here at Daytona. Welcome back to Daytona coverage of the CampingWorld.com 300 here from the World Center of Racing. The season opener for season number six. Cassandra Ramsey still out in front. Uh, Cody Hagen a lap down. May Hall, Kanye Gill a lap down. Jordan Colt, Andrew Robinson a lap down. Haruka Ta oh, Rick Takeda, Katie Elizabeth, Courtney Rose, uh, Zachary Fitzwater, P2 London, Stacy Little Anderson the third, and Diana Vasquez in tenth. And look at the 23, Josh, virtually out of the race, 28 laps down. I really don't know what happened to the 23 car. I don't know, but that's gonna kill her in points. This is the very first race, and points are critical at the season opener here at Daytona. But not gonna get it. Is that number 23? Yep. So, um, it's past halfway. This is probably looking really good. Yeah, we've still got a lot of cars left. We actually have, um, 35 cars on the lead lap here. So we got a pretty good feel. They come out for number four. We're set, to, we're, we're set for our DSM restart. Or D, uh, uh, a DSM restart here at Daytona. Yep, um, so you're ready for the restart of the KevinWorld.com 300. Presented by Hashtag Daskar. Okay, it's cars off and they're getting a travel green flag. Green flag is back out. Let's see if they can hold on to the end of the race. We have yet to see the big one, Josh. Our big one so far only involves three cars. Yep. It's, it's too wide right now. We got three wide right there for a second. Pardon me. Three wide for third, three wide for fourth, and then pick your poison all the way on back. Yep. And Nick Duncan, where is he at? Uh, I don't see Nick Duncan in. I don't think he's inside the top 20 or top 10. Let's see where he's at. 14th. Yep, he's 14th on the high side. Whoa! Whoa. I thought we were going to see the bumper hook. Me too. Wow, so that was close. It was very, very close. 
And we got a challenge for the race lead, finally. Here goes Katie Elizabeth, car number 40, on the inside. Yeah, Katie Elizabeth trying to paddle for the lead for Cassandra Renzi. As we're going to believe for about 15 plus laps. And here comes Pony Motorsports driver Courtney Rose on the inside. Help from a much misspoken. Going to get hooked up and hung out by your teammate Naskins. Yep, teammates, maybe. By your Pony Motorsports teammate Diana Vasquez. Wow. Talk about wow. doping your teammate. Paul Watts the trial. Whoa, we got to look out. Could see the big one. Could oh, be. four wide. Not going to work. There we go. There we go. There, we go. there, we go. there it is. No big one. Yeah, we got the big one. There it is. One. There it goes. Oh, Offside. Oh, down oh, goes oh, Justina oh, Montello. And another car goes up and over. Another car goes up and over. Three cars up and over. In the big one. Some of course involved in this race. Um, do I see the red flag? I don't know if I see the red flag or not. Red flag immediately is out. Yep, so red flag is out. Tom Hall, I yeah, he's involved. Mary Hall, both the halls are involved. Haruka Takin involved, Son of course. Nick Duncan involved. Jed Timms. And Ray Takeda looked to be involved. There's Jet Tinsley Pull Sitter. And we saw three cars go up and over. Yeah, yep. There's Sun, of course. Fourth caution is the big one. And there's the 22, Sydney Costa, with heavy damage. Yep, um. Should we see? If there we might be some pit stops. I don't know. And there might be some pit stops. So let's stay right here. But man, they waited about yeah. halfway through the race, and it was big when it happened. Yep, it was. I believe there was about 10 cars involved in that accident. At least 10 cars, so that takes out a good chunk of the field here at Daytona. Um, let's stay on the air just in case we have pitch stops right here. If we don't, we'll get you to the replays here. Uh, the red flag is out, though, so they will stop the field. Um, in, uh, in turn one, to clean up the mess in turn two. Yes. Looks like, I think we just pit, pit road. Nope, we got pit stops all the back up there. Pit stops are gonna happen here, so it looks like those, um, those cars that were involved are gonna take some pit stops here. So they're entering the DSM pit road, and here we go. There we go, we got 24 car right there. 48 inch Robinson. Let's see who's gonna take tires or not. Let's see who's gonna, gonna win the race off pit road though. But oh, the 99 is Bob as well! Yeah. There's the 18 gonna get service. Actually, I think. I think, um, let's just stay on air for one more round. Whoa! Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Nick Duncan timing it right! He's your race off hit road winner! Yeah, Nick Duncan. Woo! He will he start around 21st, I believe. I think he will! Alright, we got pitched out, cleared up. Let's get to the replays here as the red flag is out. I knew. Well, Josh, I knew we couldn't go the, the whole race without seeing it. And we saw it, the big one, 4Y Cor- uh, oh, man. Oh, man, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Tristan and Montello just flipping. Oh, man, Sona got just barreled in there. The old wage card just got launched. Oh, wait, car got launched right over the 38. The 38, the 08, and the 97 are the cars that actually went over. And the 3. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Wow, I cannot believe what I just saw here at Daytona. That was one wicked crash. Yep. 
Here's an review of the rack, a 38 perspective. And watch that, uh, watch some cars get launched here. Yep, this, oh, just did a Metello right there. Now watch the OA car here, Josh. He's gonna get barreled into one. Look at that car! Oh, my right over the 38! My so let's God. Him over. My God, thank God these cars are really, really safe. Thank God for that, and... Man, uh, if if we had the Gen One cars, we would have had multiple injuries. We would. Take a look at look at this from the helicopter cam here. See what it actually saw from the helicopter uh, vantage point. And watch the save for Barrier Dust. Look how look how much this thing actually gives when these cars impact that wall. Yep. Wow. It starts right there. Then ugh. Man, oh man. Man, oh man. Oh, the six! Whoa, whoa. Oh. I think I might get like at least about six or seven on boards. Maybe even ten on boards of this rack. Maybe. We, we got extended replays. The red flag is out here at Daytona. Uh, let's take our first on board with the 99 of Robert. He at here, and let's see what he saw from his vantage point. Cause I saw I, I I didn't see him involved in this wreck, uh, just until we saw him on pit roll with with the hood damage. Yep. So here we go. You can see that the truck starts right there on top left of your string right there. Now what comes up must come down. Robert Pia thinks he has it, uh, made. But watch this. And smoke, and just oh, oh right in at the back of the three, send him over. My wow. God, He's taken on board with the ten of Sydney Crosta. Right. Get into the corner, and as you can see, smoke really plays factor in these racks. You cannot see what's going on. What's going on? You think it's safe? You think it's safe? Until about and then this. all of a sudden, kaboom! Boom. Right at the driver right door. Yeah. Ow, that has to hurt. Indeed. I mean, look at these cars just flip over, man. I I have never seen a wreck like that ever. Yeah. And Daytona just got turned into a 185 mile an hour parking lot here in turn two. Yeah, we're going to take it on board with the number three of R.J. Bishop. Get ready to cringe at this one. We're going to take it full speed. <laughs> wow, Mike. Goodness. My goodness. Oh. I've seen about enough. Let's get back to the restart. Welcome back to Daytona. We're back under the caution after the red flag. Uh, Cassandra Reggie's still out in front. Kanye Gale still out down. Diana Vasquez, Andrew Robinson still out down. Stacy Little Anderson, the fourth. Katie Elizabeth, uh, Annie Thomas, Pichu London, Gabe Williams. Chase Smith, uh, Chris Washer, and Daniel Hoyles after that spin early on in 10. Yeah, so a lot of people who spun early beforehand, Clinton Daniel who was the first caution in lap 4, is pushing uh, really a lot. Yeah, he is. He's really uh, pushing a lot here. We're just about uh, 15 laps away from the circuit flag. Yeah, we are about 17 laps to the second flag this time. Bye. Josh, I think it's yep. time to say that things are going to get crazy. Yep, it is. People will wreck each other a lot. It's on a few laps. Once again, we got our DSM restart. Josh, take it away for the restart. 
All right, let's get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Green flag is out for the camera. Stockholm 300 presented by Tascar. Hashtag Tascar. Hashtag Tascar, you big dummy. Man. Cassandra Ramsey Mouse, she has a rocket here. Look at the distance she puts. Man, Cassandra Renzi. She is just strong all weekend here. So let's see if N Rage Racing can go to victory lane here to start off the season. Here at Daytona. But don't want to count out any of these drivers. Yep. Cassandra Renzi is just pulling away right now. And we are left with 21 cars on the lead lap. Podium Motorsports Diana Vasquez. Remember, Josh, she knows how to get it done. Yeah, she does. She will go down, down low, I believe. Nope, not yet. She knows how to get it done. She was here for a uh, for an Arco race here not too long ago, and she won it by making that move. Yes, she did. And look at Anderson, the fourth, from the back of the pack all race long with 15 laps to go next time around, is now the new leader. Yeah, so, so later on, in the fourth right there. And we got lots of other people coming your way right there. Got Chris the Dishwasher right there. Here comes Chris the Dishwasher on the inside in the game stop. PS Vita number 20. Yep, we got, um, where are Hagen's back there? The two of Andy Thomas looking for the lead now. 15 laps to go. It's gonna get nuts here. Yep, it's gonna get nuts. You might see another caution. Don't jinx us, Josh. Please, we got some great racing. I know, but still, I'm just seeing the facts. I know the fog of, of, of Super Speedway racing here. We don't want to see another crash because we got a pretty good lot of cars who's going to battle it out for the lead. 15 to go. This time I. Whoa. Man, this is going to get really tight. Zendarin is already in the back right there. This is the main pack. The main pack here. And we got our shell 15 to go. Yeah, we got our shell 15 to go right here. It's going to be crazy. All right, Josh, 15 laps to go. Who is going to have the preferred line when we come to the white flag here in 15 laps? We don't know because it's Daytona. Anyone of this being packed will have a preferred line. Let's see if uh, Katie Elizabeth... Whoa! She is hugging all over Chris Washer there! Wow. Wow. Hugging Chris. and beating and banging there. Got Chase Smith in the 11 right there. And here comes the sixth, Josh. The sixth of Larry Hagan. He hung in the he hung in the back of the pack all the way through. Here he comes. With 14 to go, he has a chance to win. Yep. Whoa. It is Gabe Williams though who's out in front. Here comes Chase Smith. Yeah, well, the Smith brothers. This race. This is gonna get crazy and crazy. It is going to get crazy up in here. Yes, it is. It's going to get nuts. It's going to get crazy. It's going to get wild. It's going to get completely insane. Here comes a 43. That of Luke Hawker. Yeah, because the Rootsy is back in the low side. Here comes Chris the Dishwasher in the 20 games of PSV and Toyota. Four wise in the trial. And here comes Chris on the inside. Three wide to the line. It'll be the 43 leading it by half a car length with lap 48. Whoa. <laughs> All right, lap. 13 laps to go. 13 to go here at Daytona, and we got a really good water cars. Oh, man. Whoa, man. There's that good old bumper hook that we just saw a minute ago in the big one. And here comes Renzi. Here comes Elizabeth. Whoa! Power Don't down low, Kent! And there's Chris Dunn in a 39. Kate Scurvin, man, she is 41 laps down. Wow. Man, not gonna win this. 
uh, is at number 23. 11 laps to go! This time by! It's gonna get hectic! It is going to be crazy to the As long as they don't wreck, I'm good! Yeah, let's hope they do not wreck. No lap traffic, they're just now getting into the tribal. These guys are entering the backstretch, so we're good for lap traffic! We're going lap traffic so far. Here comes a 41 on the inside. P2 London, help from the Pointing Motorsports car of Diana Vasquez. Uh, those are teammates at Roush. Know how to get it done here at Daytona. Oh, thought about it. What about it in the heat? Now here comes Vasquez on that inside. Going to try to make a run at the lead. That's going to try to... Di uh, Diana Vasquez. Oh man, look out! Whoa! Woo! Ten to go, and it's getting hair raising. It's gonna get hair raising. I cannot see in this anymore. <laughs> oh man, hold your breath at home. Not literally, Josh. Here comes oh, Vasquez. Oh, we that? got trouble. Whoa! Oh, I thought we had trouble. No caution. I was even holding my breath. Oh, Pony Motorsports, Diana Vasquez, all over the back bumper of Cassandra Renzi, car 31. Not going to make the move yet. <sighs> Nine to go. It's a four-car breakaway. Four-car breakaway. <laughs> anyone? I don't know if anyone of the other two are going to win this race. It's going to be possibly between uh, Renzi, Vasquez, Williams, and Thomas. Vasquez is not going to down low just yet. Fastest lap is the 31 of Renzi at a 46.356. She has possibly led the most laps. Possibly. I think she has. Possibly. Possibly. Whoa! The bumper hook almost turned the 5 into the wall! On the 88! Wow. Vasquez is not Duck down low just yet. Now it's a single file freight train. Here we go. They're making moves. They're planning drafting help. And here they come on the inside line. 88th. Almost got turned into the wall just about a few seconds ago. Now looking for third. Yeah, because under so because under so because under Renzi and Santa Vasquez is still the top two right now. Vasquez has to make a move very soon. Vasquez has to make a move, she's probably planning it for that fight. Oh, that's gonna get kicked up to the outside. Yeah, so... Anyone can... Some people in the main pack can still win this, I believe. Maybe! Maybe! If they have a chance, here comes Chris, the dishwasher! Let's see what he can do! Oh, man! It's gonna get hectic. It's gonna get hectic, alright. Let... Whoa! Chris, the dishwasher, has that draft train on the inside, but they're three wide back there. Here comes Luke Walker. Remember, Luke Walker took the lead away from Renzi. Uh, now going to try and do something here with just a little over six to go. Yeah, we got about eight to go, I think. So let's see what they're going to do here. Um, are they going to try and run down Renzi or not? I don't know if they are. Oh, we got a fight for the lead. Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn. Chris Where Dunn, remember, he, 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 hung, he hung at the back of the pack all the way long. Here he is. Here comes Chase Smith. Chase Smith and... Grant's done a battle of the rookies here, I believe. Whoa! Got him loose to the tri-oval! Whoa, wow. Lab traffic ahead! Yeah, lab traffic is ahead. So this will make it or break it for anybody who's trying to win this race. Are they... They're getting down the back straight away? 
Back straight away. 190 to uh, 174. Yep, we're going to see Lab Traffic very, very soon. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know yet. Unless these guys can hook up and draft, they're going to get lapped. And they're going to get laughed fast. And here they come. Oh, trouble! The oh, we got a wreck. wreck. Wreck in the tri-oval. Oh. Big wreck. Look out. Whoa. Oh, another what? end of the fence. Oh, oh my god. Right in the middle of the track! Oh my god! Oh my! And five laps to go. We're, that may set up a possible green white checker. We might have a one lap shootout if. Oh my god! Oh man! I don't. I think the red flag is out. It is. I I think the red flag is out again because that cash fence just got damaged. Indeed. We we might be here for a while. I think we might. Oh hope for a green white checkered or a one lap shootout. Let's get to the replays. Alright, just a red flag is out. And that bumper hook again, remember we talked about it throughout this whole entire race. And three cars get turned into the wall and boom into the wall they go. Head on for the two. Chris Washer yeah, ducks it low. Now watch this. The 43 is going to spin in the middle of the track. And he's going to try and get going. But wrong place, wrong time. Right? Oh, there. my gosh. Into the fence. Reminiscent of Kyle Larson's crash here at Daytona last year. Yes, that was just hard right there. Daniel Boyle spinning to the grass here. I don't know what possessed him to go um, in there. So let's see. Know. Let's see what happened to him. Let's What's see what happened to the helicopter camera. Oh, it's just oh. The, it, it's just the initial contact from that wreck that got him. Yeah. And right over the Fox Sports logo, and we're gonna spin it in the grass. Wow. Oh, indeed. Well, uh, we're going to think good thoughts here for the 43 and possibly the fans here. We are going to hope for a possible oh, green, no white, checkered, no on boards in this wreck. We are going to hope for a green, white, checkered, or a one left shootout. Cross your fingers here at Daytona. We'll Set it up one. here at Daytona. Joshua Michaels is just freaking out here. One left shooter here, here at Daytona. Cassandra Renzi, Chase Smith, Diana Vasquez, Chris Dunn, P2 London, Kenny Elizabeth, Chris Washer, Kanye Gill, uh, Gabe Williams, Jordan Culp, and Jackie Tang in 10th. And Kanye Gill is a lot down in 18th. Here we go. Here we go. It's going to be... A lengthy one line. This will take twice as long because of the excitement. Oh man, it's time to give it all you got here at Daytona. Renzi has led the most laps here at Daytona. So she will get five extra bonus points on her point stat, uh, stat here at Daytona. Oh, get ready for it. Oh. Yep. So this is technically a green, white, checkered, literally. Yes. <laughs> the green will fall, the white will follow, and the next flag ends the race. Either the checkers or the yellow. We only get one attempt at it. Yep. One single attempt. Alright, Josh, final thoughts of this race as we're about to go green. Wait, what? Final thoughts on the race as we just... Are uh, about to end it. This was a great, crazy race. All right, here we go. Will it be Renzi? Will it be Smith? Will it be Vasquez? Will it be Dunn or anyone out in this field as they come to the line? One attempt at a green, white checker finish. The green will will fly right now. The green and the white are out. 
Yep, this is your Rolex. One to go. Strap down that big TV. She's gonna go for it. Right, Chase Smith. Chase Smith goes down low. I think he's under really lost the restart. I think. I think Randy lost the restart. It's gonna be side by side. Because already is still on the high side. Look at Vasquez, she's got a one! Find it Vasquez, Chris Dunn. So I'm just talking over you, but this was crazy! Diana Vasquez, she's got a run! In the back straight away they go! Will we see a last not fast? We will! Here comes Vasquez! Vasquez, we're going down low. Here Three wide! Point. Three wide for the... Whoa! Stand up for the photo finish camera here at Daytona! It's gonna be a close one! Coming out of turn number four! Here comes the 41 to the inside! I don't know! Will it be enough? Side by side! Vasquez! Woo! Oh my god. Oh my god. What a finish! Oh my god. I'm just like literally standing up right now. Woo! God. Five! One thousandth of a second! That was amazing. Just amazing. Diana Vasquez, Pony Motorsports, is going to victory lane at Daytona. Podium includes Peachy London and Chase Smith. Unbelievable finish here at Daytona. What a big time. What a Oh, I'm just speechless right now. I can't even say anything. I, I'm speechless as well. Wow, I just can't not believe what we just saw here at Daytona. What a finish! Diana Vasquez wins it here. Yeah, yep. it's cloudy. My God. Man, oh man, oh man. Being one race down, 29 to go. Oh my goodness. If anything... Wow, what 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 a speed week we had! Yes, what a speed week we had. We had the shootout, then we had this race. That was just incredible here at Daytona. I just cannot believe what we just saw. Me either. All right, folks, stick around. We're gonna be right back with the point standings and our final thoughts of Speed Week 2014 here at Daytona. Don't go away. Welcome back to Daytona here, the post-race edition of NBC Sports NASCAR. After a wild finish here at Daytona International Speedway, crazy wrecks, some flipping over here at Daytona, people flipping out. Oh, it was just a crazy race, wasn't it, Josh? It was a crazy race, um, well, it looks like the whole, everyone has cleared out already. I'm out of the speedway. Good days, cannot wait to get to Phoenix. Yeah, it, it's going to be a big time switch for these guys and girls going from a super speedway at Daytona to a short track at Phoenix in the Jewel of the Desert. Um, that's going to be a big change. Alright, so let's take a look at your points here after one race of the season. Diana Vasquez has a point lead. Uh, with 47 points, uh, P2 London following suit behind, only 5 points behind, uh, Chase Smith with 40 points, uh, Cassandra Renzi, or 30, uh, 39 Chris Dunn with 4 points, 5th in points Cassandra Renzi, uh, Katie Elizabeth, and uh, Chris Washer in a dead heat, 37 and 39 points. Uh, Jordan Culp and Gabe Williams are tied for ninth in the points. Jackie Tang uh, in 10th and 11th and 12th. Zachary Fitzwater in 11th. And uh, Larry Hodgen in 12th in points. So that's how your uh, race to the chase field looks so far after just one race. Yeah, but one race is just not enough. Exactly. These points are going to undergo a lot of shakedown during the season. Josh, final thoughts before we sign off. Well, um, I would like to say that today was a great day. We had got some crazy wrecks. And let's, and let's hope we will see you guys next time. Okay, next. 
All right, that's it for Speed Week, and what a great Speed Week it was here down here at Daytona. Uh, we won't see Florida for quite a while, but we'll be back here at Daytona for um, later on in the season for a halfway point race here at Daytona. But for now, we're off to Phoenix. Hope you can join us then. For Josh and Michael, I'm Jimmy Fitzgerald. Always here at NBC Sports NASCAR. Keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.